At the start of 2023, Freelab updated the My Freelab app and did a full redesign of the user interface. In this video, we'll go over this new redesign and dive deeper into each submenu. When you open the app, you'll be forwarded to the dashboard submenu. And if you already had a Freelab account, you'll be asked if you want to migrate your old workouts to this new version. If you use the app for the first time, you'll first need to create an account and then you get redirected to that same dashboard submenu. On the bottom of the screen, you can rotate through different submenus, that being the dashboard, the workouts, teams, exercises and settings menu. Starting on the bottom right are the settings, where you can find your profile with your email address and all your personal info. Below that are the general settings, where you can choose between things like the metric or imperial system, light versus dark mode, and below that you have your Freelab chips listed. And last, you get your preferences, email-wise, what type of information you want to receive, and then the app information, like the version of the app you are using. Going one submenu to the left, you got your exercise menu, which will be an important one, because here you will define the runs that you will be doing. As you can see, I already got a lot of exercises ready to go. For the sake of the video, let's create a new exercise though. Press the plus icon, and then you can title the exercise, even give it a small description if you want, define the sport and the timing method, that being standard or roster mode. With standard mode, each time is linked to the specific chip that ran it, and with roster mode, you can input your own roster of athletes, and no matter the chip they use, if the athletes run according to the roster you submitted, the times will be linked to the right athlete. Lastly, you can define the distances and the spacing between the start and the finish, or each and every other cone you use. Let's say you want to run a 100 meter with split times every 10 meter, then you just add 10 times 10 meter, and you'll be able to get the speeds for every 10 meter. But you can do different distances if you want, like these 40 meter fly sprints, with the first distance being 30 meter and a second one being a 10 meter. Now, let's say that you're in a hurry, you don't need the specific velocities given directly after each run, you didn't have any time to prepare an exercise for your workout, then you just tap the submenu on the far left, that being your dashboard, where you can not only see the previous workouts that you've completed, but where you can also just start and stop a new workout by tapping the plus icon. You can rename that workout, adjust the sport, select the device that you'll be wearing, and if you want to track a team or a single chip. Now, let's say you use a single chip, you can select the specific chip that you will be using, you can even type in the initials of the athlete that will be using that chip, and if you want to select a team and track a lot of different chips, you can choose a roster that you will be using, or you can just run without a specific athlete roster. Finally, you choose if you want to have a pre-created exercise or not, and if you don't create it, an exercise, then you just tap no, Otherwise, you can select one of the exercises from the exercise menu. The big difference here being that, like I already said, you will get the velocities straight from the app if you select one of the exercises, and you will only get the specific times if you do not choose one of those exercises that you pre-created. There are two submenus we still need to discuss. One is the second one from the left, the workout menu. Here you can see the calendar with all the workouts that you've finished and all the ones you've planned to do. Nothing special, but very handy if you want to plan ahead or quickly check the times of a training sessions you did a week ago. The last sub menu is the one in the middle that says teams. Here you can create a team, start a list or a roster that, like I already mentioned, can be used during the training so that the athletes can change chips. No matter the chip they run with, their time will automatically be applied to their name and profile. This redesign is a nice step forward from the old design and is a lot easier to work with. Now the My Freelab app is not the only app you'll be working with if you have Freelab devices. There is also the FDM app. Now if you want to know all about that app, click the tab right here and go watch that video.